How to Avoid a Climate Disaster by Bill Gates How We Keep Cool and Stay Warm Did you know that air conditioning was born out of the need to combat malaria? It's true! John Gorey, a physician in Florida, created the first machine to produce cold air in the 1840s to help his patients recover from malaria. Willis Carrier's invention of the modern air conditioning unit in 1902 gave birth to the air conditioning industry. Today, 90% of American households have some type of air conditioner. Air conditioning is no longer just a luxury, but a necessity. It's essential for server farms containing thousands of computers to generate computing advances and store music and photos. If you live in a typical American home, your air conditioner is the biggest consumer of electricity you own. Space cooling is a key contributor to electricity emissions now and in the future. Air Conditioners and Climate Change By 2050, there will be more than 5 billion AC units in operation around the world. Ironically, running air conditioners could make climate change worse. As we install more of them, we'll need more electricity to run them. The International Energy Agency projects that worldwide electricity demand for cooling will triple by 2050. But there's hope. We can take action now to reduce the amount of electricity needed for air conditioners. Simply buying the most energy-conscious air conditioners on the market can make a difference. F-gases in air conditioners are also a problem. They leak out over time and are thousands of times more powerful than carbon dioxide in causing climate change. But there are new approaches being developed to replace F gases with less harmful coolants. By creating policies to improve the efficiency of air conditioners, the world can reduce the growth of energy demand for cooling by 45% by mid-century. The importance of heating systems. When we talk about heat, we're not just talking about making the air warmer. We also have to heat water for showers, dishwashers, and industrial processes. Winters are still hard for people who rely on renewables. In Germany, during winter, the amount of solar power available can drop by as much as a factor of nine. Furnaces and water heaters account for a third of all emissions that come from the world's buildings. Most of them run on fossil fuels, not electricity. The path to zero carbon for heating looks a lot like the path for passenger cars. Electrify what we can and develop clean fuels to do everything else. Heat pumps take advantage of the fact that gases and liquids change temperature as they expand and contract. They work by moving some coolant through a closed loop of pipes. Switching to a heat pump is less expensive in most cities. In Houston, doing this will save you 17%. The Challenge of Energy Efficiency in Construction The Bullet Center in Seattle is one of the greenest commercial buildings in the world. It generates 60% more energy than it consumes, thanks to solar panels on its roof and other energy-saving technologies. However, many of these technologies are still too expensive for widespread use. But we can make homes and offices more efficient at a low cost with super tight envelopes, good insulation, triple glazed windows, and efficient doors. We need to drive down green premiums in every sector. New building regulations can help promote energy saving ideas and expand the market, driving down costs. <laughs>